Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Drifted here. Uh, now before today's video starts, I just wanna let you guys know that the audio might not sound as good in today's video because I just got a new mic, the Shure SM7B mic. And at the time when I was recording this episode, I still hadn't gotten it all set up. I was still trying to figure it out. And as you can hear now, hopefully it sounds better because I just got it to where I want it to sound like. But anyways, it's gonna sound a little rough here in the beginning, but it does get better later on in the videos. I promise you that. So I hope you guys can stay and watch the entire video because this is a really good episode. Um, rest in peace, villagers. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy. My Minecraft world is a mess. And that's because I decided it would be a good idea to run a raid in my poor little village. And like the idiot I am, I drank the Bad Omen 5 potion, which gave us the worst First raid ever. Uh, we have been infiltrated. Oh no, 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 no. They're attacking all my villagers. Oh no. Oh geez, they're, they're powerful, they're powerful. Oh no, this is not what I wanted. Oh no, no, oh no, 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 he spawned him, he spawned him. Oh geez, this is not good. Oh geez, he's gonna kill me, he's gonna kill me. Oh no! And uh, surprisingly enough, I lost. Oh no, did they kill all the villagers? The raid bar went away. I don't even get victory. Oh no, this is not, I think they killed everybody. We lost all our villagers and there is only one left. Oh, look at it. It's so sad. Everybody is gone. It's empty. I mean, then again, there is one silver lining out of it. And that is this guy up here. He is the last remaining survivor. Um, he's still a little mad at me because I did, you know, kind of destroy his whole home but it's okay we're still friends i'm still so sad the villager beach that will never be used again oh my gosh i forgot we put this guy in here hello hey buddy how you doing <laughs> he's still enjoying himself he has no idea what happened but you know what guys i still have a little bit of um spite in my heart right now so today i'm gonna get my revenge that's right even though we may not have a woodland mansion near us yet as far as i know we still have the outpost now you guys, you guys made a big mistake. You guys wrecked my entire village that I spent so much time perfecting, and now your time has come. So before I head over there, I'm gonna need some supplies real quick. I think I already have a lot of the stuff I have here. Like I already have my shield and everything. Oh my gosh, you guys are being so loud. My dog, he's okay at least. That's the one thing that matters. The LA's are still good. They're just still kind of chilling out there. But I need, where is it? Do I have one? I'm looking for some flint and I'm gonna need some steel. Ah, there it is, there's some flint. All right, we're gonna need just one thing and that is a flint and steel. I'm gonna need my shield and we're gonna go, we're ready. There, you guys, your day of reckoning has come. Okay, now I still need to be stealthy about this. So let's see, do I see any of them out there right now? Not yet. <gasps> okay, there's one, we have one. Look at that, he's 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 practicing his aim. He's ready for me. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go. Charge, wait, oh man, I forgot to bring my horn. Oh well, too late now. Get out of here. Oh, oh. Ooh, no, not today. Not today, get out of here. Oh, okay, we're gonna set fire to this. Go, burn! Aha, we got him. It's burning. You see that, sir? You see that? Your house is going down in flames. Oh no, sheep! Oh. Oh no, oh no, the sheep. No, sheep, you gotta get out of here. This place is going up. Get out of here, sheep, oh no. I didn't mean for you to get involved with this. Get out of here, get out. Oh no, 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 no. Sheep, get out, get out right now. Get out right now. You are going to be burnt to a chicken nugget. Okay, get out of here, look, I, I paved you away. Leave, okay, good, we got him out. That's it, all of it, all of it's going down. It's all going down, look at that. <laughs> You see that? This is gonna be left as a reminder of what happens if you mess with my village. Let's see if I can get this guy on the top, actually. <laughs> oh, wait, gotta aim a little bit higher. A little bit more. Boom, got him. <laughs> oh, look, he fell. Oh, did you fall? Oh, no. All right, I'm out of here. All right, well, now that I got my vengeance, I suppose it's now time to um, completely rebuild this community that we have lost. How do I even do that? All right, we're just taking a general look at our village here. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the wall because it actually didn't really do too much. 
in terms of protecting the villagers when we got raided. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, I think I'm going to make the village kind of similar to what I've done in my other previous series and kind of build them different stalls so they can have different uh, places for trading. But I want to make it a little bit different here. Let's see. I have to t I have to think about it here, but let's go ahead and first get all the walls uh, down. Let's go ahead and destroy all the parks and everything, and we're just going to completely revamp this entire village. I'm also going to head to the other villages nearby and get some more villagers. I know we have like a ton of villages nearby. Um, I know that one's dead, but there is a whole bunch of other ones around us where we can. Um, steal villagers and bring them back here and breed them as our own don't worry sir i will rebuild your home and i'll make it look as good if not better than it was before uh but here we go the destruction of the wall begins Whew. okay that is all gone i took down some of the houses i took down the the play park oops i forgot to get rid of this sand here look how fast this shovel is though like this thing is so fast that's incredible anyways like i was saying i took down the houses here on the end i took down the villager park i took down the fence and i'm just gonna completely revamp this entire village and i kind of have a vision for it so first of all i need to redo this bridge this bridge is atrocious and it needs to be changed it just oh my god it looks it looks so bad first things first though i do want this entire village to be level on the same ground level which means i have to do a lot of terraforming so i'm gonna have to get rid of all of this here i'm gonna have to make that look better i'm gonna have to get rid of these houses right here it's gonna be a project let's do it Alright buddy, looks like it's just you and me for now. He even took up his old job. Look at this you guys. I got rid of every villager house. This took well over two hours to do. Uh, this is all the stuff from the houses and everything. I even took down my bridge. Like we're doing a complete reset of this village here. And I got this guy over here. Which I think I should probably make a name for him. Considering he's the only villager left alive from from the war what do you think buddy what should your name be huh i mean come on i know you're still angry with me but you're gonna have to like me okay we're the only two people left <gasps> guys i think we just found a really rare mob that's a baby zombie on a chicken is that like a that's 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 like one of the rarest mobs right there's no way wait 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 i kind of want to keep them now oh wait i think i have a name tag somewhere hold on wait if I go back, I, oh man, I really want to name him, but I'm afraid he's going to despawn. Okay, hold on, buddy. I'll be right back. Oh man, there's a zombie in the water trying to throw a trident at me. <gasps> I have a name tag. Okay, cool, cool. What should we call him? What should we call him? Um, wait, dang it here. I'll take this with me actually, just in case he, he disappears. I don't want to waste a name tag. Please tell me you're still there. No, wait. He, <sighs> he lost his chicken because he got in the water. What do you, where is that coming from? Oi! You can't just be throwing things around here. Ow! Ow! No, I got good armor, okay? Back off. Ugh! Yes! Haha! -ha. Did he give me his armor? Oh, dang it. He didn't give me his trident. Duh! Look at that. He's leaving my house a mess. Well, we unfortunately lost the, uh, the baby zombie here, but that's okay. We can still name our villager friend that we're sleeping next to okay buddy what should your name be let me actually let me go to like one of these uh i saw a dan tdm using this like villager naming website which i didn't even know existed so i'm gonna see here villager naming generator their villager name generator let's see what this comes up with get villager names oh look at this it gives us a full list beatington plume flint book what this these are not names what's what what, what else is here let's see momo we got omawa Ima. Hash. Hold on. Hash. That's a good name. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at you see that name? Kalia? That's the name of my niece, guys. Oh my gosh. Home look at that. But hey, look at that. Hash. Okay. Well, guess what? New name for our villager here. Let's go ahead and name you Hash, man. <laughs> That's gonna be such a weird name. There we go. Hash. 
All right, here you go, man. Hash is our new friend. He is the last remaining survivor, but now we know that this is the legendary one who survived the war. He's so disappointed with his name. He's like, why did, why have you done this to me? Why have you? <laughs> well, granted that Hash is now a, uh, a novice. Okay. Uh, I thought he was a fisherman, but granted that he looks like a fisherman. I'm going to go ahead and start with the fisher's hut that I said I was going to build here. So what do I need for that? I think I'm just going to, obviously I'm going to use all the materials that I got from the other houses here, but I just want to use... I'm just going to use oak logs and planks and stairs for this build. Now again, I'm not going to make anything too fancy for these villagers. Just something that's pretty simple here. So why don't we just make a one, one, two, three. There we go. And then like a one, two, three. Boop. And then right here. And this is going to be like a three tall house here. Also going to grab some mossy cobble and some regular cobble here. Just to give the floor a little decor here. Okay, so we got that done. Now as far as the roof goes, we're going to make these roofs really simple. And just do a standard A-frame. Okay, the house is pretty much done. Now I'm just going to add this final touch here by adding an item frame. And then this raw salmon to symbolize that this is now officially a fisherman's house. So sir, uh, Hash, we're gonna go ahead and move your bed uh, from here, and I'm gonna change your trade here. I don't want you to be uh, whatever this is. This is your novice, I don't, I don't want you to be this. Actually, I lied, I do want you to be that, but here, I'm gonna take your bed, I'm gonna put it over in this house, so hopefully you will go to it. Actually, just to ensure that you will go to it, I'm gonna take away this bed here. I'm gonna put it right in here, and this is where you will now reside. Okay, so if we go ahead and put his bed in here, we can put his little barrel in here, and then maybe we can give him like a little table right here. There we go. Look at that. He's got his own little shop now. What I'm also gonna do here is I'm gonna make him a little bit of a dock so he can obviously, when he wakes up in the morning, he can go fishing and really just get his stock up to date here. So I think I can just make this pretty small. Oh, let's get rid of that. And I think I can do maybe a couple out, like maybe that far, doesn't need to be too big. Okay, now final touch, I'm just gonna add some torches around the house here, on some in the back here, and then that should be good. And just to experiment with this, let's see, would that look good? Ooh, that does actually look really good. So let me go and change the front to look like that too. Let's just add it back, upside down stair right there. Look at that, there we go. We got our fisherman's hut now. And of course we can add a trail for him as well to the bridge. And just like that, this is our first house of our rebuilt village. I'm so proud of us. Hash, come here, come here, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Look, I built you a house. Aren't you gonna go sleep in it? Well, I guess not now, cause it's, oh, it's almost nighttime. So you better go sleep in it. I worked hard to make that for you. Oh wait. Is he doing it? <gasps> Please, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. <gasps> yes! Look it! He's chose his bed, wait. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'll, I'll leave, I'll give you some privacy. Look it, he's so peaceful. <laughs> okay, cool, so th this works, awesome. Um, now I have got to get started on my bridge, because I took it down because it looks so terrible. But let's go and focus on that for tomorrow, let's go and get some sleep. There we go. What'd you think, buddy? Did you like your first night in your new house? Eh? Eh? He's, he likes it. He's, he's just not gonna say it. He's too proud. So if I make this one more up like this, make it too high. I don't wanna make it like too tall here, but if I just do something like this and just put like ropes or something in between the pillars, cause I think I wanna do kind of like what I had for my last one. Do one pillar in the middle of the bridge and uh, add ropes along each side just like so it looks like an actual bridge okay i'm wondering what would this look like if i added some like upside down stairs maybe just to give the bridge some like maybe some like a little bit of character um i don't i don't think i like that dang it Okay, what about if I did this? Like I did some standard logs. Okay, that looks good. But like, what if maybe, what if I strip them? Would that look good? Oh, I sound like a villager for a second, but hey, you know what? That looks, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go and try that. Let's go and do that. And we're coming up on the last one. Okay, 
Oh, no, 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 squid, squid, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh, why do you do this? Why are squids so crazy? Why do they do that? Okay, that looks good. I do think it is missing something. I think what I'm going to try and do is add some... Add some gates, maybe, or add some fences. That could possibly look nice. I, just, I think I should have a lot. Actually, yeah, I have a ton. Okay, so let's see if this adds a little bit to it. Because I know I said I was going to do string, but I'm going to see if maybe this will look better. Um... Hey, you know what? I think that looks kind of okay, actually. Reminds me of the bridge that I built in my 1.0 series, actually. Alright, so yeah, let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, there we go. And that still leaves me room to actually fish over the side. And I'm not able to fall in, so that's good. Uh, I can still jump over it, though, so that's good. But I don't, I can't, like, accidentally fall in, which is good. Okay, well, look at that. New bridge has been made. Uh, I don't think I'm going to build the bridge over to my farm. In fact, I might even move my farm, to be honest with you. might move it more towards the middle there. Because I've been thinking about moving my barn and making it bigger, like right over there, possibly. But we got to get back to work on the village. Hash, we got your house done, but now we got to focus on the other villagers that we're going to find some way to get. Because technically, I actually, I only need one more villager to bring over to this village. Because I can just put you, to, you two together, and then you guys can do your thing, and then uh, we'll have more villagers. So, simple as that. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this pathway over to our little fishing hut here. We can just go ahead and finish the pathway over here. Okay, perfect, there we go. All right, so next villager we're gonna focus on is our farmer. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna build their houses really identical, so I don't have to do too many different things. Uh, but I'm add, gonna I'm gonna add like different touches to the to the houses, like this one here. I added a dock right here, but for my farmer, I'm gonna do the same thing. Do a three standard three by three, but then on the outside of the house, I'm gonna go ahead and add a farm, specifically a wheat farm, so that he can start growing us some crops. What are you jealous of this? This is the exact same house I built for you. Don't be jealous, okay? This just this house isn't for you, Hash. Two hours later. Okay, hey, you know what? This is starting to look pretty good. All right, let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown here. So first off, we start out at Hash's house here. This is our little fishing hut. Standard look for all the houses. I just put their bed right here, their trading box right here, or whatever you want to call it, their workbench. Give them all a little desk to work on, of course. Head out of here. We got Hash's little fishing dock here in case he wants to wake up one morning and just uh, go fishing for some more stock here. He still doesn't like me. <laughs> uh, we got my bridge. Uh, updated look there. Let me know what you guys think there. But now we go on to Main Street with all the houses here. I gave it kind of like a suburbia kind of feel because I think that's kind of what I'm looking for. So first off, we have the farmer. Farmer Joe here. Here's his house. Gave him a little farm. This is our uh, smoke smoker guy. So he's going to be using these furnaces here. Smoking up all his food. And then we have our librarian guy, gave him some bookshelves. So hopefully he's gonna give us some good trades here. We have our armor here. So I gave him a little chest to store all of that. I grabbed some old armor from my house, put it right there, I think it looks pretty good. Also put the stone cutter guy, I think that would be the mason. So I put him right outside here. And then this is gonna be our cartographer guy. And then over here we have our potion guy, our what, what do you call those things? I don't know, I forgot what they're called, but I added like a little cross outside of his house because they technically reside in a church. So I thought it was a nice little touch there. Um, these ones I haven't finished all the way as far as like filling up their items because I still need to figure out what they are. But here is our uh, uh, upgrade gear guy or stonemason or whatever he's going to be called. We have the loom guy, which is going to sell us uh, wool, I believe. We have this guy. I, I had like a whole bunch of like PDFs of all the trade, like a chart of all the trades. But either way, I got them all in here. So now all I got to do, wait, is that? The door is the wrong way. Hold on, wait, I got to fix that. Hold on, wait, it's supposed to go like, is it supposed to go like that? Open from the left. Okay, did I fix it? I didn't fix it. Hold on, I have to fix it. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Okay, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I added a whole bunch of trees on each of their lawns here. And I added like a little bit of swing set. Because here's the thing. I planted a tree right there. And it grew into this huge thing. This thing is huge. I've never seen a tree grow as big as this. 
So we got a, a little swing here. I got some more trees growing. It's gonna look pretty good. What I'm gonna try and do next... Oh yeah, we also have this guy. <laughs> Uh, but what, I'll, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some bone meal, uh, get some grass in some of these fields, get some flowers, and kind of just make this feel a little more like home. Now, I believe, I believe I have some more bones. Yeah, I have a whole bunch in here. Okay, never mind. I don't have as much as I thought I did in there. So let me just go ahead and go back home, grab some more food. And then after we get this all set up, um, I'm going to have to figure out a better way to protect the village. Because... Last time, the cobblestone walls didn't work, and I have a theory as to why they might not have worked. But let me let me grab some of this. I'm going to grab half of this, because we're going to need a lot of bone meal. But um, anyways, uh, I think the cobblestone walls weren't doing a very good job because they were only, like, one level. They were only one block high, therefore uh, stuff like the brute, like yeah, mobs like the brute could actually get across the... The walls so i think what i have to do in order to prevent that from happening again is to create walls that are two blocks high um then again i don't really want to add like i don't want to make this feel like enclosed like a pen for the villagers i want to make them feel like they can still like wander but at the same time you know i gotta protect them because <laughs> villagers as helpful as they are are um they're pretty stupid okay there we go grass grow grow my protees I get rid of all the tall grass here in just a minute, but let me just go ahead and add some of this here. There we go. Oh, this tall grass looks horrendous. Get out of here. Get out of here. In fact, while I'm here, I could also bone meal the trees. There we go. And bone meal this guy. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Okay, I might have to do some more here, but hey, you know what? This is looking pretty good. All right. Now, for this spot here, I'm not sure what I should do. I think maybe I can recreate, like, the playground. I can build, like, a huge park for them, rebuild the swimming pool for them. Instead of having it over there, I can have it over here. But for right now, I think this looks all right. Now, the last thing I'm going to do before I go and get and um, steal another villager. Oh, he's, he's side-eyeing me. Look, I'm not, I'm not doing anything, okay? I just want to make sure you're going to be safe. Don't, don't get mad at me. But the, before I do that, I need to get some more walls, and I just need to wall this place up. I'm going to do two, high, two block high walls this time to ensure the safety of our villagers. I do not want another incident happening uh, again. All right, so if I go ahead and grab some... Should I grab some fences or fence gates? I think I had gates. Where did they go? Okay, I have five. Okay, good. Got some. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is if I just start the fence, um, should I start it like right on the edge or oof, I'm no, I don't know. I think I'll just start it right here. So if I do that, do one more high, there we go. Go kind of repeat what I did last time and create like a little arch. Just go up right here. Go and go up one more there. Just like that. And I can add one more right here. Look at that. And now it's even. I should still have a sign here. Where did I put my signs at? Aha, here's the oak sign. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this up here. And let's go ahead and name this place. Let's go and say, Welcome to villager estates there we go look at that okay awesome so now i believe hopefully do i if i put the gates here will this go away i hope not oh good it doesn't oh, look at that that looks awesome okay so now we just gotta start doing the walls like this here again i'm not too i mean i guess that's i think i guess that looks okay it doesn't look too bad but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this wall all the way to the edge here and just ensure that there are no spots whatsoever where illagers or mobs, especially zombies, can get in. And since I am doing this too high, that means I'm going to need double defenses. I have it looks like our little guest is leaving. Wait, hold on, I, buddy. I didn't see what you were trading here. Cyan, oh, beetroot seeds, white dye, acacia sapling, small drip leaf, drip leaf. I didn't even know they had drip leaves. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to decline though. Okay, there we go. The village is entirely protected. Does it look a little bit ugly? Yeah, kind of. But 
Either way, the villagers are protected. Now, one thing I want to do before I go in and grab some more villagers is I'm going to make lampposts on either side of here because it is still really dark here. I don't want any mobs to spawn. So to do this, I'm going to need some trap doors and some glowstone. So if I just build this up like right, right here, there we go. Um, I'm going to try a couple different designs here. So if I just do this, 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 and this here this needs to go i don't like the tall grass do the same thing on this one here the only thing i'm going to try differently is i'm going to try to do cobblestone walls as the as the post here so let's see what this looks like compare the two what am i feeling um i think i like the wood better it just seems a little more suburbia you know oh you know what i also want to try doing like mailboxes for the houses so if i do like something like this and maybe like hold on wait i have an idea what if i grabbed the barrel here like if i grab this one right here and i put this on top of the fence does that make a good kind of like mailbox oh look at that oh that looks sick okay the only thing that could go wrong about this is that the villagers could all grab the um the trades that go with the barrel instead of actually <laughs> ignoring it uh, but I like this. I just want to move it one more forward to be out in the middle of the street. That way, in case they they get any mail from the mailman, they can just drop it off right here. <gasps> yes. Okay. This is. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Okay. So I'm gonna need one, two. I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten barrels. Okay. Oof. That's gonna be a lot. Let's see if I can make that. I should be able to. I have a whole lot of wood in here. Okay. How do you make a barrel? Oh. Can can I not make a barrel? Hello barrel oh wait what what the heck what do i need to do a barrel oh i need some oak slabs oh okay wait hold on i got slabs i got tons of slabs okay so let's go to barrel there we go i need 10 there we go oh yes perfect okay so now let's go ahead and go back in here add one to each house here so this one for this house this one for this house boom Bop. I'm gonna have to move the cross here. It's getting in the way of the mailbox. Let's see. I can move it like mm, Let's go to move it right in here actually And you know what this is also going to serve as a memoriam for the uh, the lost villagers here So let's go ahead and do this. Oh my gosh phone Shh. and do one and two Look at that. There we go we will never forget. All right, there we go So every villager now has their own mailbox, which is sick uh, so now let's go ahead and finish setting out the light posts here. I'm gonna need some more glowstone actually uh, I, th I think I should have more back at home. I don't see why I wouldn't. Oh my gosh. Wait. No hash Why did you did you switch you switched? <gasps> okay, I'm fine with that. You can switch jobs We don't have anything settled quite yet, but I should actually check what he's trading Let me go ahead and grab some more glowstone from back home. How does this look? from far away, Ooh. Hey, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. I'd go as far as to say that looks pretty good, except for that ugly empty spot there. Don't worry, that will get filled later. Now, the only place I have concern for is that area right there. Illagers can still get in from there, so I might have to take away his dock. I'm not, not sure yet. But other than that, the village does seem to be pretty secure. Oh my gosh, I only had enough glowstone dust to make one more bulb. Uh, I think I needed at least two. Dang it, okay. We're gonna have to go to the nether today real quick. Okay, nothing kill me in here. Okay, I'm just here for some glowstone. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh crap, I didn't bring any gold with me. <gasps> oh boy, this is not gonna be good. Every time I come to the nether, I am always unprepared. Thankfully, we do have some, we do have some glowstone up there. Let's grab some this here, get rid of this. <gasps> oh no, oh no, I fell, I fell. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not good. Stay away. Okay, I think we're okay. Whew. I do not like the nether, guys. The nether still terrifies me after all these years. Okay, let's just grab some with our pickaxe because we have fortune with this thing. Okay, 24. That's enough. I'm out of here. Bye. This is another project I'm going to work on here in the future is just cleaning up this nether because this is just a mess right now. Also, I do have this big empty space here now and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. My brain can only be so creative, you guys. I almost forgot to give my fishing guy a mailbox. There you go, buddy. There you go feel kind of bad, you know? He's kind of separated from the rest of the gang. Oh man, it's raining again. Ugh, this place is always raining. But hey, you know what? Look at that. 
I think the villager estates are now finished. What do you think, Hash? Do you like it? I mean, come on, it's a big upgrade from what you had last time, yeah? Yeah, okay, he likes it. <laughs> well, now that these are all finished here, I'm gonna head out, grab some more villagers. Uh, I think I only need one specifically, but we're gonna go ahead and bring one home, and we're gonna get this community started. Let's go. Yes, I'm gonna leave all these chests here for now because I'm way too lazy to deal with it right now. Guys, I actually don't have a map. I thought I had a map of my entire world, but I guess I don't. Okay. Let's go and grab some sugar cane. Oh my goodness. I never realized how much this farm gave us. Oh my goodness. I definitely do need to get some more torches out here though. It's so dark. All right, let's make ourselves some paper here. Get a map going. Wait, is that not how you make a map? How do you make a map? Oh, I need a compass. Oh, dang it. Okay. Da, 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 da. We don't need four of that. Let's grab this here perfect okay now let's go ahead and make ourselves one maparoonie there we are perfect i'm gonna make this the front oh look at that oh dang that map looks good okay hold on let me did i i thought i had a cartography table in my house i guess i must have taken it to put it in the village but let's go ahead and go to sleep here um and then we should be ready to go i'm just gonna make the map a little bit bigger so that i can see like where i'm going and where i need to go to head back okay map guy map guy where did i put him i think he is at the end here look at that perfect look at the i tell you the signs help the sign helps so now if you grab this take one piece of paper enlarge it a little bit let's see how big this gets here Ooh. okay that's really small um we're just gonna keep going. I think we can just. I, I'm. I think I'm comfortable doing it the, as the the largest map we can here. Let's see. Is this? Okay. It looks like 13 is like the highest level we can go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I really wish we weren't on the edge of it though. But that's all right. I think that's okay. All right. But guys, we are ready to head out. We are ready to grab this villager. I would take Buck with me, our horse, but I don't think he's ready for the adventure. Plus, I don't have a. I don't have a lead or anything to guide him with. Okay, Hash, you need to be good. I'll be right back, okay? What kind of trades you got going? Ooh, wheat. Hold on. Wait, I actually want to keep that trade with you right now. Hold on, wait. Stay in. You're not getting out. Uh, do we have any more wheat in here? Oh, come on, please, I must. Okay, good, I have 26. Because I actually want to keep you as the farmer here, so I'm going to go ahead and trade that with you. Perfect, okay. Be a farmer. <laughs> okay, so now we're good to go. Let's go ahead out and grab Hash a friend. Now, if my memory serves me right, I believe there was another village right over here beyond the abandoned village in the snowy biome. Hey, why is there an iron golem at that village? Wait, I thought this village was abandoned. Is it not? Wait, hold on. I'm checking because there shouldn't be an iron golem here if the village is completely abandoned, right? <gasps> It's not abandoned. Oh my gosh. Hello, sir. Please, would you come with me? Please? Hold on, I need to get him out of here. I want to I want him to come with me. Okay, I have a I have a good friend for you. He's waiting for you. Please, come on. Come on out. Okay, you know what? Are you going to make me do this the hard way? Don't don't make me hit you. Please don't make me hit you. The iron golem is right outside. Okay, I'm just going to put the boat down and you're going to get in the boat. Pretty easy. <gasps> Look at that. You're such a good listener. Okay, here we go. This is uh hopefully not gonna take very long, but it, it might. Oh boy, this is gonna be annoying. I have to get him up this entire hill. Um, you know what? I think what I can do here so that he'll go where I want him to is I'm gonna grab his cartography table and then when I need to get him out of the boat, he'll just run towards the table. So look at that, me, I'm actually using my brain today. All right, buddy, hey, you want your cartography table? You're gonna have to come all the way up here to get it, all right? Are you, are you too far away from it? Okay, good. You're not. Okay. So I'm going to break the boat and you're going to go up there to your table. No, no, don't go over there. No, no, don't go over there. Why are you going over there? Look, I put your cartography table down here. Oh no, this, this guy is going to be annoying. It's going to get me killed. Hey, hey, come here. Look at, look at, yes. Yes. You want to come up here? There you go. There you go. He's listening. I'm going to put the boat right here for you. Come here. Come to the table. Come to the table. There you go. Now get in the boat. No, no. Get in the boat. Oh, okay, here. Come up here. Up here. There you go. Come on. Uh, get in the boat. Get in the boat. There we go. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and I get in here, and we're going to make the trek home. I think we're on the right level to go home. There we go, guys. This is where our journey has brought us. I'm in a boat with a villager. 
things are going okay okay we're just gonna kind of shovel our way out of here this is the only way i know to get him here safely without him suffocating or going down that that big ravine back there don't mind us we're just uh, doing our own thing here okay so i'm gonna place your cartography table right over here okay so you're gonna go ahead and grab that job here i'm gonna let you out of the boat right over here come on come here no don't go over don't go talk to him he's weird don't go talk to them come here come here buddy no 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 don't, don't go back here 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 look 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 come here come here where are, you, where are you going no no don't go back there oh this guy's being stupid this guy's actually an idiot no don't go back there nope hey hey get 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 into the boat right now right now get in there you go I guess while we're waiting to get back home, let me check what day we're on. We're on day 132, guys. Nice. I, I mean, it's not, I know it's not hardcore, but we've only died once. So, I mean, for a player as bad as I am, I think that's pretty good. Does this process take a long time? Yes. Is it worth it? I hope so. Look, there it is. Off in the distance. We're almost there. Okay, this is dangerous. It is nighttime right now. Um, and we're over at a large ravine. I'm gonna try and build over here. All right, buddy, come on, let's go. It's all downhill from here. We got this. Oh man, I didn't even think about destroying all the beds at that village. I don't know if he'll take to the beds that we have here. Oh man, oh, did I mess up? I think I messed up. Okay, I don't have any bread on me. So, oh wait, no, I have, I have some, I have some wheat though. So if I just make two pieces of bread, where, where'd it go? Okay, there it is. Two pieces of bread, that should be enough, right? You guys shouldn't need anything more than that. Hello, where'd you guys go? Don't be, don't be wandering around. Okay, there you are. Look at that. He already took a job too. That's awesome. Okay, so where did, where did Hash go? Hello? Oh, he's all the way over here. What are you doing all the way over here? Look, I brought you a friend. Come say hi. Hash, you need to come over here. Look, I brought you a friend. She wants to say hi to you. Okay, there you go. Go over there. Am I going to have to put you in a boat? I'm going to have to put you in a boat. I look, I know he looks different, but it's okay. Well, you'll get used to different here. So let's go ahead and get you guys closer. Look, <laughs> she's waiting for you. Don't be nervous. I know you are. <laughs> okay, Hash. Here you go. Oh, no. Okay, well, you guys are already getting a boat together. So, look. Red. For each of you. No, you took both of them. Why did you take both of them? Oh, why? Oh, okay, hold on. I'm going to have to borrow some of Hash's wheat here. Wait, why'd you guys go away? Hold on. Wait, no. Come here. Come here. Oh, they're being difficult. They're being difficult. Okay, hold on. Let's make some more bread. Let's give you one, Hash. Hey, take the bread. There you go. Okay, now... You guys should breed now, right? Where'd she go? Why are... Oh my gosh, you guys are going to make this difficult, aren't you? Okay, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put them down a hole until they are ready to breed, and then I can, uh... <laughs> and then I can set them free. It sounds bad, but we gotta... We gotta get some... We gotta get the population back up. All right. Hash, come here. Don't go... No, don't go in there. Look, come here. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. There you go. Okay. Oh, dang it. I forgot that you can't go in here. Dang it. Hold on. I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, there you go. Get you in there. And then take that away. Get you out of the boat there. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab the other gal. Where'd she go? You're in here. Hey, come here. Come here. I've got a surprise for you. Don't be scared. <laughs> what are your traits, by the way? Oh, those? That actually isn't bad. Come on. Come on. Come out of there. Please. Please. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, oh, you're gonna be just as annoying as he is, isn't he? Hey, oh my gosh, why did I put the tables in the house? Why did I do this? Okay, what if I move your cartography table, huh? There we go, I put that back down there for you. Wait, you can only get it if you get, oh, haha, -ha, I tricked him. Haha, -ha, or I tricked her. Okay, now I know this may seem scary, but I'm gonna put you two down a hole, and you guys are gonna, you know, do your thing. Okay, there we go. Now there's that. And I'm going to let you two go. I just have to grab some bread. Luckily, I got tons of bread in here. So let's go and grab some of this. I shouldn't need too much here. These poor bees are still not pollinating my crops. And I'm not sure why. They're just... Why? They're, there's perfectly good crops to pollinate over here. Why aren't you doing it? These guys must be picky. Okay, I'm just going to try putting the crops over here. Maybe you'll start pollinating them. See? Look at crops pollinate nah, i don't know all right guys so i'm gonna put a couple pieces of bread down here for you grab some and please breed <gasps> yes yes it's happening it's happening so, are you guys gonna do it i don't want to i don't want to be nosy here but just want to make sure it's gonna work oh no no why you why do you guys not like each other is there is it because that their beds aren't down there 
Uh, I've done this process before. I don't want to do it again. It was so dangerous to do it this way. Okay, I guess we're going to have to do it this way then. That's fine. Okay, there we go. I've given you guys enough room here. If I just do it one more time, just to try it out. Because I think it's because the beds aren't down there. You guys like each other? Eh. Yes. Yes. Come on. Where's the baby? Make the baby. Ugh, dang it. Okay. No, it's definitely because the beds aren't down there, I think. Hmm. Okay, yep. Okay, yep. It's definitely because of the beds. Okay, so what if I just start... I can always put the beds back, but let's go ahead and grab all the beds from here. Uh, it's just kind of an annoying process. Okay, there's one bed. There's two beds. And there's three beds. Okay, I'll grab a couple more just so I can have at least five. And then they should start should start mating by themselves, hopefully. Alright, so there's one. And then there's another one. Okay, so now we're going to try this again here. I'm going to give you some more bread. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Okay, now they should... Oh, no, it's getting to nighttime. Please, guys, come on. Do me a favor here. Oh, no, they're going to bed. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ash, go to bed. Wait, he's not taking his bed. Why is he not taking his bed? Oh, I think that's because this one was his bed. I actually... Hold on. Let me get this one away. Okay, did that fix the problem? No, he's still not going to bed. Which... Which one was he sleeping in? Okay, you know, I think I might just have to take off all the beds. Uh, villagers are so confusing sometimes. Okay, there we go. I got rid of all the beds, so now Hash should be asleep. Good. Put this one down. Put this one down. This one. And then this one. Okay. Fortunately, this is just gonna be how our community starts here. Um, but here, let's go ahead and head to bed here. And hopefully... I gave them enough bread. They should be able to just breed. Also, did I put my shield in here? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, let me just go ahead and re-equip that there. There we are. Okay, now you guys, there should be enough beds. Yes, come on. Oh, <gasps> yes, it worked. It worked. Yes, we have a new one. Wait, let me see. What kind of villager is he? Is he the winter villager? Let me see. I think he is. Actually, no, he looks like he's in normal clothes. Okay, but yes, that is working now. Okay, good, 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 good. So now I just have to wait a few minutes before they're ready to breed again. But if I go ahead and just let them go, just like this, they should still go back down there because that's where their beds are. Okay, good. All right, so they're going to work. We got a baby villager. We're rebuilding the community, guys, slowly but surely. Hello, buddy. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. Oh my gosh, wait. What job did you take? Hold on, wait. Oh, you're a butcher. Oh, ooh. okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, I know this area looks kind of ugly right now, but we're going to fill it up. I'm going to put it like a park here, probably like right there in the corner. I'm going to put the villager beach back in, kind of just recreate what I had in the old village. Just now it's like extremely protected. Um, so now we have all entrances covered off. There's no way anything could get in here. And I believe it's all covered in light. I have to wait till I will have to wait till nighttime again to see if it is. But I think we might be good. Go and put all this stuff away here. I have so much stuff in here now. Oh my goodness! And now I got a bad omen three. We're not gonna be having a raid for a a very very long time. But there we go, guys. We we fixed our village. We upgraded our our bridge here, and our world is finally starting to come together a little bit. But look at he's happy. And wherever she is, she's happy. Still have to figure out names for him. But Hash is good. And then maybe, I don't know. So, well, I can't I can't think of a name for the other villager. You guys might have to help me out on that. But they are all happy. And I'm happy. The village is back to normal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say hi to Buck and Belle here. Because we still haven't, we still haven't said hi to them yet. Hey, Buck. Hey, Belle. Hello, child. That we still don't have a name for. Uh, he's doing pretty good, too. Let me gosh, go and take him out for a little bit of a run here. But yeah, so here we go, you guys. I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I know this one was a bit of a long one here, but we're going to continue revamping this village, make it look a little bit better. I think, uh, like, again, it does look similar to the one I built back in my old hardcore series, but I think this one looks better, especially since I made it kind of like a suburbia sort of feel. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comments section. And I might be live streaming here soon because I definitely do want to start uh, doing some live streams on this world. But just let me know what you guys think about that. But as far as this goes, guys, I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're new, click that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future videos I upload. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.